This cabbage recipe will make your heart sing, it will warm your soul, and it will make you raise your hands to the heavens. Don't believe me? Well, I need you to grab a pen and paper, write down how to make this, check in back with me, because I promise you're going to be praising the good old Lord Jesus. Now go on and preheat your oven to 450 degrees, and I want you to grab that non-stick aluminum foil, one of my favorite products to use, and grab a huge baking pan. Now wait a minute. Yes, I am. I am cooking in slippers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I keep things easy in here. Continue to grab a cutting board and your onion. Now this is where the magic happens. We have our shredded cabbage. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little lazy. I'm just going to use one bag of this. You can tell I got this at the Kroger. Now, why do I love cabbage in this kitchen? Well, it's only 17 calories for a cup of shredded, 4.1 grams of carbs, 1.8 grams of fiber. And if that, you know, confuses you a little bit, hey, sometimes it does me as well. I don't have a calculator in front of me. It's about 2.5 grams of net carbs, I think. You're placing this in your strainer and we're gonna go ahead and rinse this. Some people will skip this step. I always rinse it. You know, boo-boo, it's up to you. You let me know in the comments. Do you rinse your vegetables or do you just go ahead and cook them? While when this is kind of resting, I say in the sink, go ahead and line your baking pan with that nonstick aluminum foil. Some folks are gonna use parchment paper. So you let me know, are you team aluminum foil or team parchment paper? Now, once this is lined, and you're ready to go, go ahead back to that sink and go ahead and pour that amazing shredded cabbage in that pan and uh, place that aside. And you're gonna see one of my favorite seasonings is that Redmond Real Salt. I love this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. You can get this at your local Walmart and your local drug emporium. Now I forgot to talk about my friend, the onion earlier. Yes, we are adding an onion to this recipe. You see that I'm peeling it and I am slicing it. As always, I am looking for amazing suggestions on how to chop or slice an onion without boohoo crying. So if you have an awesome suggestion, please write it below. I really want to start a community with this page. I really want y'all to give me some tips and, you know, give me your thoughts on things, uh, good or bad, but constructively bad. You know, I don't want y'all to be mean and go meh, 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 at me. I want it to be, hey, do this instead, Shelly, or hey, can I have this? And that's a good transition to the spices that I love to use. I already showed off our Redmond Real Salt. I am adding a little bit of pepper to this, and I'm okay. I don't measure, but if I would, I would say half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna get folks saying, well, Shelly, I have to watch my sodium. I cannot use that Redmond Real Salt. I'm like, baby, I got you covered because I'm gonna start adding my Tony's Light. Now, there are a lot of no salt seasonings that I think are absolutely horrendously awful. I like Tony's Light. Again, I'm from Louisiana. Y'all, if y'all have a better suggestion, definitely use it. Don't be glued to my recipe that you have to specially order this and all this. So if you have a really good low sodium seasoning you love, let us know in the comments, share your thoughts. That is absolutely okay. And you can see the Tony's Light is pretty low sodium and I get it here at my local Walmart, Drug Emporium and Kroger. And then the magic is our fourth cup of our extra virgin olive oil. So often I'm asked, why do I use olive oil versus avocado oil so much? And really my job is I work with diabetics and pre-diabetics and we're seeing some studies with olive oil. Now, not that avocado oil is bad. I love it. I've just seen more studies with olive oil. I have my computer right here and I want to kind of really give you the real deal of these studies. So one of the first studies was, it was quite small. It was 25 participants, but again, I'm okay with that. I, I don't get really uh, upset because it's really hard to grab, you know, four or 500, 10,000 people to do a study on. So all were given a, and the glare is on my computer and I really can't see very good. So I have to really dive in here. They were given a typical Mediterranean lunch. So fruits, vegetables, grains, fish, you know, very, very common on two separate occasions. And for the first meal, they added extra virgin olive oil. For the second meal, they added corn oil. And so after each meal, the participants' blood glucose levels were tested 
and the rise in blood sugar was much lower with folks from olive oil versus corn oil. So that's number one. The other thing about it is I do like the flavor that olive oil brings in and I like that it's so widely available at our Walmarts, at our Kroger, at our drug emporiums. So really bring this in. And the other thing I love about olive oil, it is a monounsaturated fat. It is heart healthy. I would love to see more studies done on avocado oil. If you're really glued to avocado oil, definitely use it. Just know I push extra virgin olive oil a little bit more. Now, once we pour our olive oil over our cabbage mixture, go ahead and give it a nice toss. I just use simple tongs. I mean, you could definitely use spoon. You could use whatever you would like to do. And you're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Now, it's not done after 20 minutes. It's very important that you realize this, that we need to take it out at the 20 minute level, give it another toss, and then we put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. Now, the smell, everything is gonna be amazing. You could see when we take this out, holy cow, this looks great. It goes with any of your you know, meats that you make. It is absolutely amazing. And if you were too busy laughing, forgot to write the recipe down, you know the drill, scroll in the description box. And while you're down there, I have a menu that you can download that's gonna help lower your blood sugars and that even help with weight loss. And gang, I'm dietitian Shelly. If you love this recipe, please subscribe to our channel.